John 3 verse 30 to 32. The Bible said, He must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speak of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. And what he has seen and heard, that he testifies, and no one receives his testimony. There is no height you cannot attain in the spirit, if only you are ready to take the bull by the horn. Do away with every form of hindrance and follow the principle of spiritual growth laid down in God's words. Jesus expects each believer to grow to the level he or she can teach others. In many of the epistles, the believer is encouraged to grow in grace and in the knowledge of Christ. When a believer refuses to grow, he or she remains a spiritual babe who is unskillful in the word. Such baby Christians need milk and not strong meat. When we as believers begin to apply the truth we know in lives, we will begin to grow and our knowledge of Christ will also increase. Paul encourages the believers to be rooted and built up in Him. As believers, we draw our nutrients from Him, Jesus Christ. As you pray these prayer points for spiritual growth tonight, the Holy Spirit will draw you in a deeper and fulfilling relationship with Jesus Christ. Philippians 3 verse 10 to 11 That I may know Him and the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of His suffering being conformed to His death if by any means I may attend to the resurrection from the dead. Let's begin. I am not what the world thinks I will say I am. I am not what the devil or the kingdom of darkness says, imagine or desire me to be. I am not the pictures of what my idolatrous forefathers wish I would be. I am not what the unregenerated minds of my friends think I am. I am not what my father and mother think or want me to be. I am not what my household wickedness and environmental wickedness want me to be. I am not what I think I am. I am what the Word of God says I am. I am an express image of Jehovah God on earth. I am fashioned the likeness of the Creator of the heaven and earth. I am regenerated by the blood of Jesus. I am ransomed from the powers of death and hell. I am blood washed. I am redeemed. I am justified by Christ. I am made to be the righteousness of God through Christ. I am a believer of the word of truth. I am born again. I am heaven bound. My citizenship is in heaven. I am seated with Christ in heavenly places far above principalities and powers. I am a priest and a king ordained by Christ to rule here on earth. I am the fear and the dread of God against the kingdom of darkness. I am a swelling place of the Holy Spirit of God. I am built up together and attached with other children of God into a holy habitation of God. The Word of God says, I am a royal priesthood. I am a holy nation. I am a chosen generation and a peculiar person to the nation. I am special in the sight of God. The Bible says, because I believe and receive Jesus Christ, Power has been given to me to become a son of God. I am empowered to trample upon serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy. I am empowered to use the name of Jesus to cast out demons and heal the sick. I am empowered to bind and loose and to decree things. And the Bible says, wherever my voice is heard, no one can ask me why. I do these things, for my voice is the voice of a king that is full of authority. I am commended and empowered by my God to subdue and exercise dominion. For I am made a little lower than the angels, and God has crowned me with glory and honor, and has also made me to have dominion over all the works of His hands. The devil that was against my authority as God representative on earth has been destroyed by Jesus Christ. And once again, the keys of the kingdom of heaven are given to me. And because I am a member of the body of Christ, which is the church, the gates of hell cannot prevail against me. I am a branch in the vine. Jesus Christ is the true vine because I abide in him. I am full of the fruit of the Spirit. I am full of love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Because the grace of God is upon my life as the light of his glory, I am full of divine favor. 
I am a partaker of all heaven's spiritual blessings. I am an overcomer. The Bible says whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even my faith. In faith, I overcome ungodly worry, anxiety, heaviness of spirit, sorrow, depression, loss of the eyes and loss of the flesh. In faith, I have overcome all the tricks of the devil. For it is written, Greater is Jesus Christ that dwells in me than the devil that is in the world. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. In righteousness I am established. I am far from oppression, for I shall not fear from terror. It shall not come near me. The Lord shall cover me with his feathers, because I have made him my dwelling place. Evil shall not befall me. I shall thread upon the lion and the cobra. And surely the Lord will always deliver me from the snare of the fowler. God has made me the beneficiary of divine health through the stripe that were laid on Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ, I have right standing with God. Through Jesus Christ, I have access to the throne of grace of God, to find peace with God. I have prosperity, for God will no longer withhold any good thing from me. I have spoken with tongue of the learned, and as it is written, I shall be justified by the words of my mouth. I ask that the word of God I have confessed begin to transform me to the original image God has designed me to be in his book. I ask that the blood of Jesus wiped away every mark of reproach, whether physical or spiritual. I ask for the blood of Jesus to erase every evil or negative name I was ever called. I nullify every negative report ever made about me. I cease to be a picture of failure. I cease to be abased. Rejected, forsaken, desolate, and downcast. I begin to manifest expressly every good thing God has written about me in His book. I begin to live fearfully and wonderfully made. I begin to operate at the head and not the tail. I begin to be a true worshiper of Jehovah El Shaddai. And I begin from now on to continually praise Him and confess positively. Let us pray. Lord, comfort my heart. Lord, establish me in every good work. Lord, establish me in every good word. God of peace, sanctify me wholly in Jesus Christ's name. Father, Lord, let my body, my soul, and spirit be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Let me be filled with the knowledge of His will in Jesus' name. Let me be filled with all wisdom and spiritual understanding in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, Help me to walk worthy of and pleasing to the Lord in Jesus' name. Father Lord, make me to be fruitful in good work in Jesus' name. Lord, increase me in the knowledge of God. Lord, strengthen me mightily. Father Lord, let me be filled with the spirit of wisdom and understanding in the knowledge of Christ in Jesus' name. Father Lord, let the eyes of my understanding be enlightening in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, let me be strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man in Jesus' name. Father Lord, let Christ dwell in my heart by faith in Jesus' name. Lord, let me be filled with all the fullness of God. God, help me to comprehend the breadth, the length, the depth, and height of love of Christ in Jesus' name. Let the word of the Lord have free course and be glorified in me in Jesus' name. Let the Lord's peace give me peace in all areas of my life in Jesus' name. Let utterance be given unto me to make known the mystery of the gospel in Jesus' name. Lord, perfect what is lacking in my faith. Lord, perfect your good work in me. Lord, make me perfect unto your good work. Lord, enrich me in all utterance and knowledge. Let the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with me in Jesus' name. Father Lord, Inject into me your spiritual vitamins that will make me spiritually healthy in Jesus' name. Father Lord, inject into spiritual vitamins that will boost my appetite to eat your word in Jesus' name. Lord God, inject into me spiritual vitamins that will clear my vision and strengthen its clarity in Jesus' name. Lord God, inject into me spiritual vitamins that will sustain me in evil days. Lord God, inject into me divine immunity that will always kill spiritual germs and evil deposits in me. Lord God, inject into me the spiritual energy that will make me tirelessly with you. Lord God, feed me with the food of champions. Lord God, boost my energy to run the race set before me. 
I receive the comforting anointing and power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I receive the unsearchable wisdom in the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I take the shield of faith to quench every fiery dart of the enemy in Jesus' name. I run into the name of the Lord, which is a strong tower, and I am safe in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, always make me drink from your everlasting well of joy in Jesus Christ's name. To God be all the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.